Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, hi my name is Madhu and I post beauty related content on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out one of the most viral skincare products. It's the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay which is also known as the world's most powerful facial. So let's get started. So this one is actually nothing but 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. Now bentonite clay is said to be having a lot of skincare benefits. It is said to be deep cleansing your pores, detoxifying your skin, removing your blackheads, whiteheads, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, a lot of claims. My skin is an absolute mess right now. I recently had my exams so I haven't been able to take care of my skin at all. So I thought this would be the best time to test this out. It's obviously not possible to review a skincare product based on its very first usage. So this is not going to be a review video but more of a first impressions one. You're supposed to keep it for 15 to 20 minutes if you have um, normal skin type and if you have like super sensitive skin you can keep this for 5 to 10 minutes. Since the clay comes in a powdered form you're obviously going to need a liquid to mix it and it's recommended to be mixed with apple cider vinegar. Now there's a huge debate sort of a thing going on on social media on whether you should really mix it with apple cider vinegar or you can simply mix it with plain water. Now let me just attempt to clear this doubt for you. The pH of calcium bentonite clay is about 8 to 9.7 which is highly alkaline. The pH of water is 7 but it can even reach 8 if it's tap water. The pH of our skin is 5. So this mixture can disrupt the natural pH of our skin and especially if you have sensitive skin it can cause like a lot of irritation, redness and even breakouts. So this is the exact reason why you're not supposed to be using it directly with water. You're supposed to be mixing it with something that neutralizes it and brings it towards the pH of our skin. Since apple cider vinegar is acidic, it can be used with the clay but the thing is the pH of raw undiluted apple cider vinegar is about 2 to 3 which is highly acidic and which is the reason why you should never ever use apple cider vinegar directly on your face. It's very dangerous for your skin. So the goal is to get like a proper skin friendly ratio of the ACV and the clay so that it doesn't cause any problem to your skin. And while I was looking up for it, I stumbled upon this video by Dr. Lee where these two dermats, Dr. Max Field and Dr. Shah, talk about how to use this mask correctly. They did a little experiment using pH strips and found out the perfect ratio. So let's have a look. So four to one, you mix four parts water, one part apple cider vinegar, and then an equal amount of clay to that mixture. So I'm taking four parts of water in a bowl and then adding one part of apple cider vinegar to it. And then we're gonna take our clay mask and mix it into this. Here goes the first scoop. Woo, look at all the bubbles. Here goes the second one, the third, the fourth, and finally the fifth one. Mixing it up and let's just apply it now. I have no idea how people apply clay masks so gracefully on camera. Whenever I try it, it's always a mess. So here I am applying it in the most aesthetically unpleasing way ever. We're gonna keep it for 15 minutes, so let's go. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and I can feel that pulsating effect on my face, especially on my nose. The mask has all tightened up, so I'm gonna give it another 5 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes and the mask has partially dried, so it's time to take it off. I'm using this reusable makeup removing pad to take the mask off gently and then I'm just washing my face with warm water. My face feels squeaky clean and super smooth. There are some redness on my face but that's normal, so let's have a look at the results. So here are the before and after shots of my nose. The mask has been able to remove most of my blackheads. I know this looks gross and I'm so sorry about it but I just wanted to show you guys the direct result on how it works for me. As you can see it removed most of my blackheads pretty well. Not all of them which is completely fine because no skincare product works like magic instantly. 
you need to give it some time and be consistent with it in order to see some results. So I'll be trying this clay for some time and see if it really helps me in improving my skin. So that was it for today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried this clay or want to try it. I have linked everything below in the description box for you to check it out. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my content. It would mean the entire world to me. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye.